The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use the web portal to manage your Notify Plus service settings from the internet with your computer. After you've logged into the web portal service, select the My Settings tab. Click Notify in the category section. The web portal Notify Plus Service Administration is divided into four sections: phone books, announcements, Notify access numbers, and jobs. The phone book section is used to manage the phone numbers, text addresses, or email addresses that will be contacted by the Notify Plus service. This information is grouped into phone books for ease of management. The phone book section contains two lists. The left hand list is used to manage your Notify Plus phone books, and the right hand list is used to manage the phone numbers and email and text addresses that are in the currently selected phone book. To add a new phone book, press the Add button located below the Select a Phone Book list. An empty Add Phone Book window will be displayed. Enter a short description of the phone book in the Description field of the Add Phone Book window. This description is used to identify this phone book in other Notify Plus service interfaces to be covered later in this video. A minimum of one phone book address must be added to the phone book before it can be used in a job. To delete a phone book, select the phone book in the Select a Phone Book list and press the Delete button below the list. A delete confirmation prompt will be displayed. Choose OK in the prompt to complete the deletion. To add a single address to a phone book, select the phone book in the Select a Phone Book list and press the Add button below the selected phone book list. An Add Address Entry window will be displayed. Select the address type, either phone number or email or text gateway. Enter the new 10-digit phone number or email or text gateway into the address field. You can also enter an optional name or description of the address into the description field. Finally, press the Add button to add the entered address to the phone book. Files containing multiple phone numbers and email text gateways can be imported into the phone book section. To do this, select the phone book to which the addresses will be added and press the Import button below the selected phone book list. When the Import button is pressed, a standard file selection window will be displayed. From within this window, select the CSV file that contains the addresses to be imported and press the Open button. The valid addresses in the selected file will be added to the selected phone book list. The import list should include columns A, B, and C, with appropriate information required in columns A and C. Column B can be left blank, but should be included in your import list. To delete an address from a phone book, select the phone book in the Select a Phone Book list. Select the address in the selected phone book list and press the Delete button below the selected phone book. A delete confirmation prompt will be displayed. Choose OK in the prompt to complete the deletion. All addresses in a phone book can be exported to a CSV, TXT, or XML file by selecting the phone book in the Select a Phone Book list and pressing the Export button below the selected phone book list. A standard Save As window will be displayed allowing a file type and location to be specified for the addresses that will be exported. Once the file name and type of file have been entered, press the Save button to complete the file export. All addresses in the selected phone book will be included in the export. The export function is a good way to create a template that places contact information in the appropriate fields that you can use for future lists in new phone books. The announcement section is used to manage the announcement audio files that are available to be played for notification calls. To make an announcement audio file available for Notify Plus service calls, press the Add button in the announcement section. An Add Announcement window will be displayed. Enter descriptive text of the announcement in the description field. This description will be used to identify the announcement in Notify Plus service interfaces. Next, press the Browse button next to the File field to open a standard file selection window. Use the file selection window to locate and select the .wav audio file 
that will be used as the new announcement and press the open button. The path to the selected .wav file will be displayed in the file field. Press the add button to complete the addition. To change the description of an announcement, select the announcement and press the edit button. An edit announcement window with the current announcement description will be shown. Press the Save button after editing is completed to apply the new descriptive text. To remove an announcement audio file, select the file in the Announcements section and press the Delete button located below the list of announcements. A delete confirmation prompt will be displayed. Press the OK button in the prompt to complete the deletion. Announcement files that are currently being used by a job cannot be deleted. The play sound and volume control can be used to play the announcement selected in the announcements section for your review. If your computer cannot record audio with the .wav file extension, you have the option of recording your message by dialing the Notify Plus administrative number and following the audio prompt directions for recording new announcements. Once the announcements have been recorded, you can access them from the web portal and by using the edit button can rename those announcements. The job section is used to add, delete, and manage Notify Plus service notification jobs. The left hand side of the job section contains a list of all the jobs that have been defined for the logged in Notify Plus subscriber. Selecting a job in the list will display its settings, call statuses, and exceptions in the tabs on the right side of the job section. To add a new Notify Plus job, press the Add button below the selected job list. A Schedule a New Job window will be displayed. Enter some text describing the job. Select the phone book that contains the list of phone numbers, text addresses, or email addresses that will be contacted by this job. Select the announcement that will be played when this job's calls are answered. If you only want to send a text message that will display on wireless phones or in the body of an email, select None. Enter the text message that will be sent to phone book entries if the address type of the entry is email address or text gateway. Enter the day on which this job will begin notifying contacts in the selected phone book. Enter the last day on which this job will begin notifying contacts in the selected phone book. Enter the earliest time of day that a notification job can be run. The default for this setting is 8 a.m. Enter the latest time of day that a notification job can be run. The default for this setting is 9 p.m. Please contact us if you need those default times changed. Enter the number of times the job will redial each phone number that has not successfully answered a call. You can change the number of simultaneous calls your service can make up to a maximum number allowed by your service agreement. The higher the number, the faster your job will be completed. Enter the minimum number of seconds the announcement must be played when a call is placed for the call to be considered successful. Select Yes to have the Notify Plus service send you an email report when this job is complete. You can add or delete these email addresses from the General section located below the Categories tab. Setting this option to Yes will allow the called person to press a digit on the phone in response to a notification announcement. For example, press 1 if you agree, press 2 if you disagree. The press digit will be displayed in the job report email. Set Yes to enable transfer of the call to a phone number or service when a digit on the phone is pressed. This setting will be disabled if Enable Digit Response is set to No. Choose the digit on the phone that can be pressed to transfer the call. This setting will be disabled if Transfer Enabled is set to No. Choose the type of transfer that will occur. Options include phone number or service, like voicemail. This setting will be disabled if Transfer Enabled is set to No. This section allows you to select the type of call transfer. If the transfer type is a phone number, then a 10-digit phone number must be entered in this field. If the transfer type is service, then a service option such as voicemail must be selected. This setting will be disabled if transfer enabled is set to no, 
and is required if transfer enabled is set to yes. To activate a job in the Notify Plus service, click on the scheduled button. To delete a job, select it in the Select a Job list and press the Delete button located below the list. A delete confirmation prompt will be displayed. Choose OK in the prompt to complete the deletion. The progress of an ongoing or finished job can be viewed by selecting the job in the Select a Job list and clicking on the Status tab. The top of the status tab contains a list of all the addresses in the phone book being used by the selected job and the current call statuses of each address. The lower section of the status tab shows the overall status of the current job and also has a row of buttons used to control the status of the job and the list of addresses. The resume button is used to continue the job if it has been paused or to restart the job if it has been canceled. The pause button suspends the job if it is in progress. The cancel button completely stops the job if it is running or prevents the job from running in the future if it is scheduled. The refresh button updates and retrieves the latest job status data from the system. The exceptions tab can be used to manage the list of phone numbers or email addresses or text addresses that should not be contacted if they are found in the phone book associated with this job. The numbers and addresses entered in the exceptions only apply for this specific job and they will not be permanently removed from the phone book. To add a job exception, press the Add button in the Exceptions tab. An Add Exception entry will be displayed. Select the address type phone number or email or text gateway and enter a phone number or email or text address in the address field and press the Add button to complete the entry. Exceptions can be removed from the Exceptions tab by selecting them and pressing the Delete button at the bottom of the tab. This concludes the video on setting up and running your Notify Plus service from the web portal. If you have additional questions or would like a printed copy of this user guide, please contact our office.